Hey, good morning. Now, plastic. We use a lot of plastic in construction. Now we talk a lot around modern methods of construction. We talk about being sustainable, etc. And we're doing a lot to, to do to, with that, you know? Um, and we're building houses now that generate their own electricity in modular. However, how much plastic we're using? How much plastic you use in your process, in your property development? How much stuff is wrapped in plastic? How much contr more control could you get over your supply chain in terms of how your uh, goods, materials were wrapped? What about scaffolding? Lots of plastic on scaffolding. Are there any biodegradable materials that you use to wrap stuff up? You know, materials, equipment, components for your construction projects. I'd be really interested to know about that. Put your comments below and let's get a movement going where we're reducing the plastic in construction and making it much, much more environmentally friendly. And also, what about the, uh, the way the construction and property and development investments going amid the COVID uh, revolution, if you like? Yeah, it's a revolution. You know, I'm seeing that uh, there's so many seers out there and, and profits out there. It's going to be this, it's going to be this, it's going to be this. But actually, nobody really knows. But what is happening out there? I'm seeing lots of new projects coming forward. Developers are now developing land like never before. And we're changing. We're becoming more communal. Developers are becoming more communal, much more open space, wrap round balconies, uh, more um, opportunities for small mixed developments with offices and shared lounges and shared open space. You know, so there's a revolution going on out there. So there's always opportunities, no matter what the external, uh, what is externally is happening in construction out there, there'll always be supply and demand, COVID or no COVID. So it's always a good time to look at investment. So if you're a property investor and you're looking to become a, an established, profitable property developer, then have a look at what's going on out there. Loads of stuff, loads of exciting stuff, irrespective of what the government are doing and the, um, and the support they're giving, which is a good thing in a way, but they always give with one hand and take out with another. Remember that. And, but just look at what the industry is doing around this crisis. It's absolutely fantastic. So I'd really like your comments in the space below. And this has been Stuart Davidson, your friendly QS. See you in the next video.